Professor Frieda Briggs is a widely published author and expert in the area of child protection. Now based in Australia, she's committed her life to fighting to defend those who cannot protect themselves. We spoke with her about the challenges children face. I think um, children across the world uh, are just simply not valued anymore. And children in developing countries are at particularly high risk. Uh, large families, impoverishment, um, and of course, uh, governments that um, uh, are not spending money on children. That is resulting in vast numbers of children being used for commercialised sex. The United Nations has already said that a million new children a year are taken into prostitution being kidnapped for, for, for sex and it's tragic that there are adults who are prepared to take advantage of this. Child trafficking is increasing as uh, people in developing countries become wealthier and have money um, to spend on travelling overseas, going to poorer countries, uh, children are more vulnerable and of course in some countries parents um, will sell their children uh, for prostitution uh, because they, they have to feed the, the other younger children in the family. So we're back to the problem of poverty yet again. But ECPAT, um, which is End Child Exploitation and Prostitution, um, they are working full time trying to assist uh, in this heinous trade. One of the problems I think is that most people don't understand the long term harmful effects of child sex, sex abuse. Um, it's been pointed out that if one in five children had a serious illness that could affect them throughout their lives, could cause long-term depression, could cause mental illness, um, post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, affect all aspects of their lives, result in broken marriages, as a result of, of, of being sexually abused. If you had an illness um, that was so widespread, governments would do something about it. If one in five children were about to get flu, governments would act. And even our support services tend to be provided by volunteers who've experienced abuse and, you know, uh, depending on the sale of cakes at uh, stalls to get money for it. It's bizarre how this situation has arisen. Uh, eminent uh, uh, psychiatrist Bill Glaser in Melbourne, who works with sex abuse uh, victims and offenders, describes it as a plague. thanks to the media that child sex abuse came to the forefront. Um, they uh, publicised uh, the extent of the problem in the late 1970s and early 80s, um, exposing what had previously been pushed under the carpet. And uh, certainly the media can play a very important role um, in education, for example, but um, Media also has to take more responsibility because um, certainly children now are exposed more to commercialised sex than they've ever been. And this certainly influences, as does violence. We know that children who are um, using computer games that are violent will behave in a more violent fashion for a couple of hours afterwards. And we know that they emulate what they see, especially in their early years. And I think it's fair to say that society in the Western world is becoming increasingly violent, whether you're looking at the UK, Australia or New Zealand. Churches can also undertake this role and some have done. Um, the Assembly of God Church was the first in Australia to, to hold whole day workshops uh, in this field and I'm talking about 1984. So um, there have been precedents for church involvement. And when I give lectures, which I do all around this country and overseas, um, I invariably get some really 
positive feedback aspects of what I've said that are helpful to parents and professionals and it, ma it makes it worthwhile. But at the same time, anybody who works in this area gets some pretty nasty experiences. From time to time, one thinks, oh, um, why do I do this, especially at my age? Um, and then maybe I should give it up. But as soon as I think that, the phone rings and somebody needs help and off I go again. And I get extremely angry by the way that children are treated and feel that I've got to keep on trying to make the world a safer place for children.